Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss International Maths Olympiad Level 2 Solved Question Paper of Year 2019-20 for Class 3. Mathematics will have 30 questions of 1 marks each and Achievers section will have 5 questions of 2 marks each. Total number of questions will be 35, total marks will be 40, time allotted will be 1 hour. Mathematics Question 1 what fraction of the letters of the word library is vowel? Number of letters in library is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Number of vowels in the word library is 1, I, 2, A. So, 2 vowels. So, our fraction will be number of vowels upon number of letters. Number of vowels is 2, number of letters is 7. So, correct answer is option C, 2 upon 7. Question 2. Radhika made 10 dozen cupcakes. She gave 22 cupcakes to her mother and ate 6 cupcakes. How many cupcakes are left with her? So, she made 10 dozen cupcakes. 10 dozen cupcakes means 10 into 12. That is, she made 120 cupcakes. Now, she gave 22 cupcakes to her mother and ate 6 cupcakes. So, how many cupcakes should she use? Yes, 22 plus 6. That is, 28 cupcakes. Now, we will subtract 28 cupcakes from the total number of cupcakes. That is, 120 to get the remaining cupcakes. So, 120 minus 28 is 10 minus 8, 2. 11 minus 2, 9. So, she is left with 92 cupcakes. Correct answer is option A. Question 3. Which of the following sets of numbers is arranged in the ascending order? Ascending order means from the smallest to the biggest. Option A, 982, 985, 989, 789. 900 is greater than 700, means it is not in ascending order. Option B, 1920, 1902. 1920 is greater than 1902. This is also not in ascending order. 9,876, 9,768. 9,876 is greater than 9,768. This is also incorrect. 1,920, 9,102, 9,321, 9,468, 9,768. Yes, this is in ascending order. Correct answer is option D. Question 4. Put the correct signs in the boxes below in the same order as in the options so that the given statement becomes true. Let's try option A first. Minus, plus, plus. 84 minus 8 is 76. 76 plus 62 is 138. 138 plus 3 is 141. But it should be equal to 33. So, option A is incorrect. Let's try option B now. Plus, plus, minus. 84 plus 8 is 92. 92 plus 62 will be 154. 154 minus 3 will be 151. Still not equal to 33, right? So, option B is also incorrect. Let's try option C now. Minus, plus, minus. 84 minus 8 is 76. 76 plus 62. 138. 138 minus 3 is equal to 135. 
still not equal to still not equal to 33 now only option d is left so it must be the correct answer let's find out plus minus plus 84 plus 8 is 92 92 minus 62 is 30 and 30 plus 3 is 33 yes we got our answer correct answer is option d question 5 find the sum of shaded fractions of the given figures in the first figure there are four squares and only one of them is shaded so fraction will be 1 upon 4 plus the next one again in this circle there are four parts and two of them are shaded so it will be 2 upon 4 third figure in this arrow four parts are there and only three parts are shaded so 3 upon 4 since the denominator is same we can add the numerators 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 upon 4 6 upon 4 is in option D. So, option D is the correct answer. Question 6. Radio is dash grams heavier than the book. If you see the weighing scale properly, the radio weighs 1000 gram. And the book weighs 400 grams. Now, the radio is heavier than the book. But by how much? For that, we will subtract 400 grams from 1000 grams we'll get 600 grams correct answer is option d question 7 mr kapoor went to amusement park with his wife and two children both children took a swing ride and merry-go-round only the adults in the family took a water ride how much did it cost to them both the children took a swing ride. Swing ride for one person costs 25 rupees. So for two people it will cost 25 into 2, 50 rupees. Now they also took a merry-go-round ride. So merry-go-round costs rupees 30 for one person. For two people it will cost 30 into 2, 60 rupees. Now, Mr. Kapoor and Mrs. Kapoor took a water ride. Water ride for one person costs rupees 45. For two people, it will cost 45 into 2, 90 rupees. So, we'll find the total now. 0, 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 9, 20. It costs rupees 200 to them in total. Correct answer is option C. Question 8. The given clock shows the time at which a movie ended. If the movie was of 3 hours 25 minutes and there was a break of 15 minutes, then what was the starting time of the movie? Ending time of movie was 1.45 p.m. 1 hour before 1.45, 12.45, 1 hour before 12.45, 11.45, 1 hour before 11.45, 10.45. There are also 25 minutes. So, we will subtract 25 minutes from 45 minutes. We will get 10.20. Now, in the movie, there was a break of 15 minutes. So, we will subtract 15 minutes from 20. So, we will get 10, 5 hours. Correct answer is option C. Question 9. How many hundreds must be added to 1930 to get 6930? First, we will find out which number should be subtracted. First, we will find out which number should be added to 1930 to get 6930. Minus 1930. 5000. Now, how many hundreds is equal to 5000? We will divide 5000 by 100. 100 fives are 500. 
this zero comes here it will go up 50 hundreds must be added to 1930 to get 6930 correct answer is option c question 10 a tower p is 8 meter 5 centimeter high another tower q is 6 meter 28 centimeter high how much shorter is tower q than tower p so we will subtract the length of tower q from tower p tower p is 8 meter 5 centimeter tower q is 6 meter 28 centimeter if there is nothing we can add 0 here 15 minus 8 7 we will make this 9 9 8 7 now since we carry forward it it will become 7 7 minus 6 1 1 meter 77 centimeter correct answer is option c question 11 mrs nana needs to order rulers for 24 students in her class each student needs one ruler rulers come in packs of eight which of the following can be used to find how many packs of rulers does miss nana need rulers come in packs of eight means eight students use one pack so 24 students will use 24 divided by 8. Correct answer is option D. Question 12. Find the value of P plus S minus R plus Q. Upon solving all the numbers, value of P will be 5758. Value of Q will be 270. Value of R will be 3330 value of s will be 3286 now we will put all these numbers in the equation p plus s p is 5758 plus s is 3286 minus r plus q r is 3830 plus q 270 5758 plus 3286 is equal to 9044 minus 3830 plus 270 is equal to 4100. Now when we subtract 4100 from 9044, we get 4944. Correct answer is option A. Question 13. Find the smallest four digit even number that can be formed using the digits 3, 8, 0, 9 using each digit only once. Option B and D ends with even numbers. Now, which is smaller? 3098 or 3908? Yes, 3098 is smaller. So, correct answer is option B. Question 14. Which of the following statements is are correct? P. At 15 minutes to 5, the minute hand points towards 3. Q. At 30 minutes past 12, the minute hand points towards 6. 15 minutes to 5 in the clock looks something like this. Minute hand points towards 9 and the hour hand points between 4 and 5. The minute in the statement it says the minute hand points towards 3. Is it pointing towards 3? No, means statement P is incorrect. Statement Q, at 30 minutes past 12, the clock looks something like this. Where the hour hand points towards 12 and the minute hand points towards 6. The the statement says that the minute hand points towards 6. Yes, it is correct. So, only statement Q is correct. Correct answer is option B. Question 15. A bucket can hold 5 liters of water. It is being filled by the bottles of different capacities. Which of the following combinations of bottles can completely fill the bucket? In option A, 200 plus 200 plus 250 plus 250 plus 2000 plus 2000 is equal to 4900 milliliters. It should be 
फाइव थाउजेंड मिली लीटर सो ऑप्शन ए इज इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी प्लस टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी प्लस फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस टू थाउजेंड प्लस टू थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू फाइव थाउजेंड मिली लीटर्स येस इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव थाउजेंड मिली लीटर्स करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन द कॉस्ट ऑफ अ बैट इज टू टाइम्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ अ वॉच द कॉस्ट ऑफ अ बैट इज रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड Find the amount spent by Rajat if he buys two bats and three watches. Cost of one bat is rupees five hundred. Cost of two bats is equal to rupees five hundred into two. That is rupees one thousand. Now for the cost of one watch, it says the cost of a bat is. Two times the cost of a watch means the cost of one watch is equal to five hundred divided by two. That is rupees two hundred fifty. So cost of three watch will be rupees two hundred fifty into three. That is rupees seven hundred fifty. Now one thousand plus seven hundred fifty is equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty. Correct answer is option D. Question seventeen. If the weight of a banana is two fifty grams, then find the total weight of three chocolates and two bananas. First, let's find out the total weight on the right hand side. One banana weighs two hundred fifty gram. So how many bananas are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Weight of six bananas will be two hundred fifty grams into six. Fifteen hundred grams. It means on this side also it is fifteen hundred grams. So cost of three bananas will be. Two hundred fifty grams into three. Seven hundred fifty grams. So one thousand five hundred grams minus seven hundred fifty grams is equal to seven hundred fifty grams. Means that the weight of these three bananas are seven hundred fifty gram, and the weight of the two chocolates is also seven hundred fifty gram. So weight of one chocolate is equal to seven hundred fifty grams divided by two. That is three hundred seventy five grams. Now we have to find the total weight of three chocolates. One chocolate, three hundred seventy-five gram. Three chocolates will be three hundred seventy-five grams into three. That is One thousand one hundred twenty-five grams, and cost of two bananas. Cost of one banana is two hundred fifty gram. Cost of two bananas will be two hundred fifty grams into two. That is five hundred grams. And so the total weight of the chocolates and bananas is equal to. One thousand six hundred twenty-five grams. Correct answer is option D. Question eighteen. Which of the following figures has the maximum number of sides? In option A, the figure has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve sides in option B: one, two, three, four, five, six, 
सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन थर्टीन साइड्स ऑप्शन सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन टेन साइड्स ऑप्शन डी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व साइड्स सो विच फिगर हैज मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ साइड्स येस ऑप्शन बी इट हैज थर्टीन साइड्स क्वेश्चन नाइनटीन थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव टॉफीज आर टू बी पैक्ड इफ फोर टॉफीज आर टू बी पैक्ड इन वन पैकेट देन हाउ मेनी पैकेट्स विल बी देयर एंड हाउ मेनी टॉफीज विल बी लेफ्ट फॉर दैट वी विल डिवाइड थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव बाय फोर फोर एट्स थर्टी टू फोर सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर फोर सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर सो देर विल बी टोटल नंबर सो देर विल बी टोटल एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स पैक्स एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी टॉफीज विल बी लेफ्ट वेल इट्स इन आवर रिमाइंडर ओनली वन टॉफी विल बी लेफ्ट so we have 866 packs and one toffee in option a so option a is the correct answer question 20 aryan thought of a four digit number find the number using the given clues its ones digit is largest one digit odd number its tens digit is difference of 22 tens and 220 Its hundreds digit is tens digit of twelve into six. Its thousands digit is unit digit of greatest four digit even number. Ones digit is largest one digit odd number. Um, there are the odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. So we can say that the ones digit can be nine because nine is the largest odd number. Because nine is the largest one digit odd number. Now its tens digit is difference of twenty two tens and two hundred twenty. That is twenty two tens is two hundred twenty and two hundred twenty. So difference is of course zero means our tens digit is zero. Hundreds digit is Tens digit of twelve into six, twelve six a seventy two. So the tens digit of seventy two is seven. So our hundreds digit is seven. Thousands digit is unit digit of greatest four digit even number. Greatest four digit even number is nine 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 eight. so which is the unit digit in this number yes 8 is the unit digit number so we will write 8 so the number is 8709 correct answer is option b question 21 joydeep has the money shown below to spend on snacks at the movie which two things can he buy with the money first we'll find out the total money Twenty plus five, twenty-five. Twenty-five plus five, thirty. Thirty plus two, thirty-two. Thirty-two plus two, thirty-four. Thirty-four plus one, thirty-five. So, in which options thirty-five is there? Yes, in option C. Total is thirty-five. So, correct answer is option C. He can buy an ice cream and a drink. Question twenty-two. Sum of lengths of brush Y and Z is dash centimeter more than the length of brush X. First, we'll find out the length of brush X, Y, and Z. So, length of brush X starts from here. So, we will assume this as zero. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight centimeter. 
brush y is equal to it starts from here so we will assume this as 0 now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 centimeters now brush z measures it starts from here so we'll assume this as 0 now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 centimeter now read the question again sum of lengths of brush y and z y is 7 centimeter z is 9 centimeter so their sum will be 9 plus 7 that is 16 centimeter is more than the length of brush x so for that we'll find out the difference of 16 centimeter and 8 centimeter 16 minus 8 is 8 centimeter so it is 8 centimeter more than the length of brush x correct answer is option c question 23 which of the following options gives the maximum value option a 3 hundreds plus 42 tenths it is equal to 342 option b 1000 plus 60 tenths it is equal to 1060 option c 9 hundreds plus 2 tenths it is equal to 902 option d 7 hundreds plus 56 tenths so which number has the maximum value yes option b 1061 correct answer is option b question 24 select the correct option Let's read the options first. Option A, 2018 is a leap year. How do we find out if 2018 is a leap year? We will divide 2018 by 4. If we get anything in the remainder, it means it is not a leap year. If the remainder is 0, then it means it is a leap year. So let's find out. 4, 5 is a 20. 0. 1, 0, 8, 4, 4 is a 16. Oh, we are getting 2 as a remainder. Means 2018 is not a leap year. It is incorrect. Option B, there are 7 months in a year having 31 days. Let's count. January, March, May, July, August, October, December. Yes, there are 7 months. Right. So, correct answer is option B. Question 25. Kavya had 6 milk packets, each of capacity 3 litre, 35 milliliter. If one of the pack fell on the floor, then how much quantity of milk is left with her? One pack contains 3 litres, 35 milliliters. 6 packs will contain 3 litre, 35 milliliter into 6. So, 6, 5 is a 30, 0 carry 3, 6, 3 is a 18 plus 3, 21. So, 210 milliliters and how many litres? 6, 3 is a 18. So, 6 packs contain 18 litre, 210 milliliter. Now, out of the 6 packs, one of the packs fell on the floor so how much milk is left with her we will subtract the quantity of one pack from the six packs so 18 liter 210 milliliter minus 3 liter 35 milliliter 35 milliliter so when we subtract it we get 15 liters 175 milliliters 
So correct, we have this in option C. So option C is the correct answer. Question 26. Aman has 8 jars to keep candies. Each jar will contain 14 candies. If Aman has 140 candies, then how many candies will be left after keeping the candies in 8 jars? So, one jar contains 14 candies. 8 jars will contain 14 candies into 8, that is 112 candies. So, he has total 140 candies. So, how many candies we will... So, how many candies will remain? Yes. Remaining candies is equal to 140 minus 112. That is 28 candies. We have 28 candies in option C. So, option C is the correct answer. Question 27. A field is in the shape of a square. The sum of all the sides of the field is 48 meter. Find the length of each side of the field. So first let's draw a field. Now the sum of all the sides of this field is 48 meter. The sum of all the sides is called the perimeter. So what is the formula for finding the perimeter of a square? Perimeter of square is 4 into sides. We have the perimeter as 48. So, we can say that 48 is equal to 4 into sides. So, sides will be equal to 48 divided by 4. That is 12 meter. We have 12 meter in option D. So, option D is the correct answer. Question 28. Which of the following has 6 by 8 of its contents shaded? In P, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 triangles and out of which 2 are shaded. So, the fraction is 2 by 8. For Q, again there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 contents out of which 6 are shaded. So, the fraction will be 6 by 8. Oh, we got the answer. Correct answer is option B, Q. Question 29. Which thermometer shows 88 degree Fahrenheit? First, we'll find out that the thermometer in option A measures how much Fahrenheit. This is 80. So, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. So, option A has temperature of 88 degree Fahrenheit. What was asked in the question? So, correct answer is option A. We do not need to know the temperature shown on the other thermometers because we already have our answer. Question 30. Find the missing number in the box. So, for questions like these, we start solving from the right side. So, our new question will look something like 707 plus 20 into 6 minus 42 divided by 12. 707 plus 20, it's 727 into 6 minus 42 divided by 12. Now, 727 into 6, 4362 minus 42 divided by 12. 4,362 minus 42. 4,320 divided by 12. 4,320 divided by 12. 
360. Correct answer is option A. Achievers section. Question 31. If aeroplane into aeroplane is equal to 100, aeroplane divided by 2 is equal to car, and car plus car plus car plus car plus car is equal to 100 divided by rocket, then find the value of rocket. First, we'll find out the value of aeroplane. Which two same numbers we should multiply to get 100? 10 into 10 is equal to 100. So, value of aeroplane is 10. Now, aeroplane divided by 2 is equal to car. Aeroplane is 10. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, car is 5. Now, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. Plus 5, 25. So, 25 is equal to 100 divided by rocket. So, rocket will be equal to 100 divided by 25. That is 25 and the 25. 25 for the 100. So, rocket is so, rocket is 4. Correct answer is option D. 4. Question 32. Vipul went to different places on a particular day. Observe his route and answer the following questions. Find the distance travelled by Vipul. A. From his home to library. B. From mall to market. First, we'll find out the distance from his home to library. This is the home and this is the library. So from library, 8,000 meters to mall and then 12,000 meters to the library. It is 8,000 meters plus 12,000 meters. That is 20,000 meters and when we convert 20,000 meters into kilometers we get 20 kilometers we have 20 kilometers in option a and b c and d are not the answers now from mall to market this is the mall this is the market so from mall to library 12,000 meter from Library to park 500 meters and from park to market 200 meters means 12,000 meters plus 500 meters plus 200 meters that is 12,700 meter and when we convert it into kilometers we get 12 kilometers 700 meters correct answer is option A. Question 33. The data in the given pictograph shows the number of cups sold by Pranav in 6 days. Study the graph carefully and answer the given question. 1 cup is equal to 5 cups. If Pranav sold 175 cups in 6 days, then how many cups did he sell on Thursday? On Monday, he sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cups. No. 1 cup is equal to 5 cups. So, 6 fives are 30 cups on Monday. Now, Tuesday. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 fours are 20. 20 cups. Wednesday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 fives are 40 cups. Now, Thursday, we will find out. Friday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 fives are 25 cups. Saturday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 fives are again 30 cups. So we will find out the total number of cups sold in the 5 days first. 30 plus 20 plus 40 plus 25 plus 30. 
it is equal to 145 cups now it says that in the six days he sold 175 cups in five days he sold 145 cups it means that on thursday he sold 175 cups minus 145 cups that is 30 cups means on thursday he sold 30 cups correct answer is option a question 34 match the following and select the correct option in column a p 7 upon 9 minus 6 upon 9 the nominators are same so we can directly subtract the numerators 7 minus 6 is 1 so it will be 1 upon 9 now 1 upon 9 is in b this is p p is equal to b it is an option c and option b a and D are not the answers. Now next, Q. 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 2 by 4. Denominators are same. We can directly add them. So 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 upon 4. It is in option D. So Q is equal to D. It is in option B. So we already got our answer. No need to do the rest of them question 35 study the given pictures and answer the question that follows mr sharma buys two jars of coffee four cupcakes three sandwiches and five kites if he gave two rupees 500 notes to the shopkeeper then how much amount will he get back total is rupees 1000 now he buys two jars of coffee one jar of coffee is 199 two jars of coffee will be 199 into two that is rupees 398 next four cupcakes one cupcake 15 rupees four cupcakes 15 into four that is 60 rupees now three sandwiches one sandwich 45 rupees three sandwich it will be 45 into three that is rupees 135 and five kites one kite 10 rupees five kites five into 10 50 rupees so now we will add all the amount 398 plus 135 plus 60 plus 50 it is equal to rupees 643 total he spent is 643 rupees total he gave 1000 rupees so how much he will get back we will subtract 643 from 1000 we will get 357 correct answer is option d thank you for watching like comment subscribe see another video bye bye